friends. It's so nice to be back. I even brought a notebook. That means I'm serious about today's video. Ah, a lot of new people here. No pressure, no pressure. I actually wanted to say thank you for subscribing and for so many people giving me such a positive feedback on my last videos. It's so cool how many people connected with it and it's just really amazing to see that I could translate my passion through those videos and found so many cool people to interact with in the comments. So what really made me happy after seeing all of the feedback from my previous videos about doing yoga every day is that some of you guys accepted my challenge to do yoga every day. And this is where this video comes in. In those videos, I touched upon uh, the fact that it was not easy to stick to that habit. So consistency was probably the hardest part. And in this video, I, I wanna give you five tips on how to stick to working out every day and what personally helped me a lot to stick to that habit and elevate my life quality. Stay tuned for the bonus tip in the end. So tip number one, what is fun and challenging for you? I did weightlifting workouts for four years minimum prior to doing yoga and I've been very determined to make it work for me. It just never stuck to me. Some people I know enjoy dancing a lot and some people enjoy yoga, some people enjoy weightlifting. It's really up to you to decide what you want to do. I think it's crucial to find some Something you find joy in. Sometimes it's very hard to see through that hardship of a lot of workouts to see if it's fun for you or not, but just see how you feel after. Do you feel good? Are you excited about trying new things in that direction? So yeah, please find something that you enjoy and that challenges you. That's the only way to sustain it long term. Second point, how about a written commitment? Why are you doing it? So write it out. Really put physical writing on the paper. Really write out why you're doing it and what goals you have, at least in the beginning. Goals always change, we change, and that's absolutely normal. But just right now, what are you trying to achieve with it? A written commitment to yourself? I think this is a very good start. So the tip number three, plan around your workouts. Now that working out is part of your daily life, you need to plan your day around your workout. Now this is the part that is essential in your day, like showering. If you know you're not gonna be home all day, maybe decide the day before that your practice is gonna be in the morning. Plan your schedule around your workout. Don't give yourself space for excuses because they are gonna come up all the time, but you made a decision, you wrote a commitment to yourself and now you have to plan around your workouts and really know when you can dedicate 10 minutes to an hour of your time. And tip number four would be to set up. So help yourself. You could waste your time every day on what are you gonna do, what are you gonna put on, where are you gonna work out. Eventually those are just gonna be things that are gonna stop you from doing the workout. Or you could set up for yourself. Set up a spot for yourself. Where are you working out? This is where I work out every day. Maybe you can find a nook in your home. Maybe it's a gym if you're going to a gym. So that's the spot for you there. Set up maybe a shelf in your closet where your workout clothes is ready for you. What your plan is for next day so you don't have to look for workouts and think what am I gonna do today. I also like to set up a Pinterest mood board as well to kind of keep me motivated, take care of your future self, create a space where you don't really choose many things. You're always following your own box in a way, take away free will in a way. Tip number five is gonna be more of a reminder uh, to you. It's easy to forget that there are gonna be bad days. In my year of doing yoga every day and still I still do yoga every day, I had a lot of bad days. There are gonna be bad days. You're not gonna be feeling the best. Be kind to yourself and don't forget that you deserve rest. And it doesn't mean that today you're not gonna be doing your practice. Working out when I have my bad days, I definitely don't go uh, all out with my power because I just don't have any. I usually just stretch and whatever sport you do, whatever workout you do, stretching is always going to be so beneficial and it should be part of every workout. Stretching is like my number one method of dealing with bad days. I just do something slow, especially on my periods. I just really take my time in yin yoga or something like that and I relax myself. So yeah, don't be upset if you're not as intense or productive with your practice every day. What matters is that you come to the mat every day. So don't let bad days to stop you from continuing with your decision. For me personally, in bad days like that, 
if everything goes wrong, everything seems so, so bad, at least one thing, one thing is right, one thing is planned, one thing is there, is my practice. So I kind of look at it this way now. And hey, bonus tip number six, just trust me on that. The hardest part in doing yoga every day, the hardest part of working out every day is to make a decision that you're putting on your clothes and you're going to do it. Just getting on the mat, starting it. That mental effort of making a decision every day is the hardest part. After you've done your practice, you may be like me, you would always feel really grateful to yourself for doing it, or at least you got it over with and the day has not been wasted and you have all the time until tomorrow to relax and be a potato. So yeah, what I am trying to deliver in this video is that it's important to become that habit, is to fall down to your restrictions, to really be a slave to your decision. And that decision is a muscle, so you can skip and you can decide to go to a mat. And the more you decide to go to a mat, the more you practice the muscle of overcoming that urge to skip and the more you practice it the easier it gets the more natural it gets you can decide to skip and practice that mind pattern all the time and then it's just way easier to skip than go to practice because you're so experienced in skipping days it is hard to start to come to practice every day because you're not used to it. But once you start practicing every day, it's gonna be easier and easier. Right now, I am at the point where I don't even follow any sort of schedule. I just do it every day and it's, it's a habit I've built and I can't do otherwise. Otherwise, I'm just cranky annoying person if I don't do my workout. So I love that and it's just so beautiful that it's just part of me now. And trust me, you're building way more things than you think you do. There's so much that comes with that decision of doing your practice every day and sticking to that decision. I'm just so excited for what you have to gain. It is not easy, but so are most of the things that are worth it. Enjoy this challenge and let me know how it goes. And again, thank you guys so much for supporting me on this channel and subscribing. I really love interacting with you in the comments, so leave a comment. Because you stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you this flower. Leave a flower emoji in the comments if you watch till the end and you received it from me. Thank you so much.